Great. Hi, everyone. Uh, so today we have Alexandre Clément uh, talking about minimal equational theories for quantum circuits, which uh, is not ZX, but very much adjacent to ZX, I think. Um, Alexandre, please take it away. Thank you. So, uh, so this is a joint work with uh, Simon Perdri and Noé Delorme. And I will also talk a bit about uh, an, a, a, pre a previous uh, article, uh, which is well related with uh, Renaud Villemar. That's why I, I put his name as uh, in parentheses. So, so first to uh, to. First, we formalize the uh, quantum circuits uh, using the uh, so with the uh, with the prop uh, structure of prop so generated by a standard uh, universal set so the phase gate which is uh, which is in fact the the the, the green node of the ZX uh, with uh, if you look at the the global phase. At a Marti note, and we and we have a global phases. So with the prop, you you have a, also a swap, which can be seen as a swap gate or or just as a rewiring. Uh, we have the usual axiom of prop, which means that uh, we can deform the circuits, which are a few more axioms. Um, also, we we will use some shortcuts that we can define with these uh, generators. So, in particular, the X rotation, which is uh, with with the global phase uh, due to the the global phase of P uh, with respect to the Z rotation. Uh, an important uh, shortcut will be uh, the multiply control gates. Which are defined by uh, induction uh, like this. The construction is uh, quite standard. Uh, this is not, not exactly what is in this paper, but it is uh, very close. So the the work I will, I'm going to present uh, is a kind of follow up of the of the this uh, previous work, which is a complete equational theory for quantum circuits. Um, so in in these equations, you can see that uh, roughly roughly the the the, the first half uh, is uh, is made of uh, quite simple and standard equations, and the bottom is uh, more complicated and less obvious. So in and uh, so in mm -hmm. sorry uh, sorry to. Uh, yeah. I think on the first line, top line, the third equation is missing. Uh, oh no, there's an X case. Uh, never mind. Never mind. I thought it was like this was a definition of a CZ case, but other much, but it's X case. Uh, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> um, so. <laughs> okay, so. so there, there was already some uh, simplification uh, deriving some equations from the others. And also the merge of two equations. So we start uh, with this equational uh, theory, which is, which is uh, simpler, but, uh, but with uh, still a complicated equation. And uh, so the first uh, result of the paper I'm presenting today is uh, to simplify this equation into this one, which is uh, simpler uh, to, to understand semantically. So, uh, the phase gate uh, of two pi uh, is the identity uh, even if we have if we add uh, any number of controls. So, so it's much much simpler, but still uh, but still on, on a number the number of qubits since this is a shortcut. A more minor simplification is that uh, this equation can be derived from the the qubit uh, the three qubit uh, case uh, of this one. Mm. 
So we so just a few words about uh, the derivation of this equation. So it's quite te technical, so I will not uh, give uh, much details. But just to say that there is uh, essentially two intermediate, uh, two in essential uh, inter intermediate uh, equations. So the, the first one, which is uh, a controlled version of the of the one qubit uh, Euler equation. And uh, a related uh, one, which is uh, which uh, corresponds to the phase-free version of the big one, and which uh, and which uh, can be derived uh, from the the first uh, for the from the first step. Uh, this is also uh, an Euler uh, decomposition. Mm -hmm. So, so do we so we end up with the, this equation of theory, um, and the the next uh, and the the, all, the other main result of the our other main result is the is that uh, is that it, it is minimal. So there is no there is no redundant equation anymore. And so, in fact, we report this with a uh, with a very small change. Uh, I will uh, discuss a bit uh, this slide later. But the you know, the important part of, uh, in fact, of the the minimality is is uh, that uh, is that we we cannot do simpler that than uh, having uh, an equation on a on a, num on a arbitrary number of qubits. And to give an idea, um, the the proof of this uh, uses a uh, kind of uh, alternative interpretations with a uh, with a uh, parameter. Uh, it takes a parameter which is an entity, which is a number of qubits, and it gives a uh, and. and it gives an angle, so it is a defined. Uh, in fact, it is defined on, on the generators, and then the interpretation of a circuit is just the, the sum of the interpretations of the generators. Um, and um, and to. And in fact, the, this uh, interpretation is uh, closely related to the de determinant. In fact, this is a. Uh, in particular, if uh, if the parameter is uh, greater than the number of qubits uh, of the of the circuit, then this is uh, the argument of the data determinant uh, times uh, the power of two, which depends on the the difference. Uh, um, and in fact, if if k is uh, less than n, this is also kind of true, but this the right hand side the, then has uh, multiple definitions, and the so the, the the interpretation is one of the particular is one particular choice is uh, for the right hand side. So a, a consequence of this uh, property for k greater than the number of qubits is uh, is that uh, if two circuits are equivalent and, are, and have uh, not too many qubits, then the, they are interpreted the same by the, by the alternative interpretation. Which uh, the, which means that if we take uh, an equation of theory or the bounded uh, number of qubits uh, k, then all of its uh, consequences will 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 be sound with respect to the to this uh, interpretation. So this uh, behaves well with, with uh, being in a context, and with uh, and this uh, this is why we and. The, and uh, so the the things that make uh, the, the the equation uh, necessary is that uh, the interpretation of this uh, gate is if uh, so if the gate uh, becomes becomes if the multi-controlled gate becomes bigger than the, than k, then uh, 
then it is in interpretation is not in is not zero is not zero so so it is not the same as the identity so the So the equation uh, that it is equal to the identity cannot be derived from uh, an equational theory of on uh, less than n qubits. Uh, intuitively, the, this formula comes from the, 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 the inductive definition. Whenever we add a control qubit, uh, the, this is like if we divide the parameter by two. Um, so the, this gives us this. Uh, this result that, uh, that to have a complete equation of theory, then we, we, we need an equation or, on every number of qubits. Um, and as a remark, uh, we also proved that uh, even though the, we use uh, quite uh, importantly the global phases, in fact, the, the, they, they are not necessary for the result to, to hold. Because uh, for the, the reason is that, uh, in fact, uh, an equational theory with, if we have an equational theory of on uh, on circuits with global phases, we can remove the phase and we have a, an equational, a complete equational theory for for circuits up to global phases. And conversely, if we have uh, an equational theory for circuits up to global phases. Then it is easy to, and the, the, there is a unique choice of of the phase that we we have to add uh, to uh, to to make it on uh, circuits uh, with global phases. In fact, the, the global phases are can be guessed from the rest of the circuit. Um, and also, the 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 result is not dependent on the on the set of the generators that that we have chosen at the beginning. So now about the minimality of the whole equational theory. So we we, we have a, an argument for for each equation for to to prove that uh, the, the this particular equation is necessary. Mm -hmm. So I just discussed uh, this one. So for so for for instance, uh, this one is is the only one which breaks the parity of the number of uh, Adamard and phase gates. Every other equation preserves this uh, number. So for uh, we have four equations where we the invariant is uh, the parity of something. Four the ones where the the equation for for instance uh, this one uh, is the only only one which. Uh, allows us to completely remove uh, all Adamards. And uh, so, the, so most of the, the arguments has, are like this. And just for the Euler equations, um, so I will uh, just, uh, I will discuss, uh, I will discuss uh, a bit uh, in a bit more details. Um, Alexander. Sorry. Yeah. Um, you write on the, the second line, the first equation, this is the presence of a CNOT gate. But then in this uh, equation with the many controls, 2 pi, there's also CNOT gates on one side and not the other, right? So uh, Yes, but the, the thing is, uh, I didn't write it, but the, this, uh, the, the multi-controlled equation, we, we, in fact, it is here only for, uh, for three qubits or more. And the and the, uh, the argument in fact the for for, for each equation the, the invariant is uh, you you just you only have to look at the equations on uh, on the same number of qubits or less uh, because you cannot derive an equation uh, using uh, an equation on, on more qubits because you can you cannot uh, introduce the, the other qubits. Oh yeah, that's that makes sense. This is the same for the double Hadamard. We also have the the CZ, CZ equation, which uh, which uh, removes all uh, all Hadamards, but it cannot be used uh, to derive the to derive uh, this one. So, this is why the the argument the argument works. Right. Thanks. Mm.
So about the Euler equation, the not here. So this is an equation which already appear, appeared in particular in the in the smallest uh, axiomatization of, of the ZX. And the, the, there was an argument given, uh, for, uh, an informal argument, which is uh, that this is the only well, only equation which involves uh, non-linear non non uh, relations, because uh, there are so the, the betas are computed uh, from the alphas uh, with the formulas that I did, didn't put, but, uh, which uh, involves uh, to, some tr trigonometry. Hmm. So we want we want so we we wanted to formalize uh, this argument. So the, there is a a simple way to for to make it more formal is to take an alternative uh, interpretation where, where all uh, phases uh, are multiplied by some factor of say five uh, to to preserve so. We just uh, need to ensure that the that pi over two gives us the good, uh, the appropriate thing. But then all our equations are preserved, up and we just have to check that there is one instance uh, of Euler that is not uh, preserved. Um, but so we we but we we prove the stronger the stronger result, which is. Uh, in fact, we just we don't uh, just need uh, one instance, uh, and then we, we which we which uh, we could maybe uh, derive all the other instances. In fact, we, we will uh, we will need uh, an infinite and uncountable, uncountable uh, number of uh, instances uh, of this equation, which is uh, so the two to the two to the uh, LF zero is. Uh, is the cardinality of R, and, and this is the, the cardinality of the total number of instances, uh, all possible instances of this equation. Um, uh, so we we added the so as, as the goal is in a bit is a, roughly speaking to to formalize the non linearity argument. We also added uh, the these two equations, which are basically what we can do with the linear equations, to show that we we cannot derive uh, this one from from uh, from them. So the so there is a relatively simple argument, uh, which is uh, to take the the sum of all the parameters of uh, one qubit gates, and to check that. Uh, with the the Euler equation, we we can change uh, this uh, this sum uh, in a continu continuous way, uh, so so that we have uh, an uncountable number of, uh, of possibilities. Um, and for so in, in the in the paper, the proof is slightly more complicated uh, to to make uh, this equation also also work. So we we define uh, some function which uh, tells us uh, the that we have to that we flip some signs uh, in order to make this equation sound. But the, the argument is the same, and then we, we you have a you can uh, change uh, this the, the thing in a continuous way with the Euler equation. So you, you need uh, many instances. So. Um, and uh, now uh, a bit uh, so I give uh, small remarks about uh, say uh, open questions about uh, our mini, mini parameter results. So the first thing is that we we had this equation which uh, which uh, kind of arises from a merge of two of two maybe normal natural equations. So, so merging them may, makes a smaller equation of theory, so. but uh, we can ask uh, ourselves uh, what happens if, uh, to the minimality if we split it again. In fact, the the, the argument that we have used uh, 
that uh, it removes the synods is, uh, in fact, applies to the to this part. And this part, uh, actually, it's an open question. And in fact, uh, since we, it's, it is likely to, to be quite um, elaborated because we cannot just uh, look at which uh, our, which generators are, are here and how many of them are, we have. Uh, since we, we have the same generators, so you, you, you have to look at the, at the structure of the circuits. We, um, um, another thing is that uh, we, before so to make the proof easier, it's, we we use the, this equation, which is essentially equivalent to, to this to this one. As a side remark, we also we could also have uh, used uh, this this one, which is more like the Bayer algebra equation, like in the ZX. And the, the reason to this change is is uh, precisely to be able to to make this argument work. Uh, at the, uh, of the presence of uh, synods. So my one may ask. Uh, whether the, the this equation will, the the, uh, the minimizer will, will still uh, will still uh, hold if we were to keep the original series three synod equation, and uh, so the the, or the the other possibility would be that uh, the the double synod equation would would be de derivable uh, using this one, but we, it is. I think it's, it's unlikely, but we don't know. If it is do doable, then it is uh, very complicated, but... Uh... We don't know. Um, Alexander, if I can clarify, you are assuming all the prop axioms as sort of backgrounds. Uh, yes. Yeah. Well, right? So like sliding things through a, through a swap gate is something that's also an axiom. Uh, Yes. Okay. But actually, actually, we, we do not uh, look at them at them for the many minimality. Okay. Actually, it it would not be too hard to to add the, the for instance the, the swap axioms. Uh, since uh, since there are there is just the, the naturality and the double swap. And the naturality can be, I think, expressed uh, you just uh, for the generators, which would not be too big, but we didn't do, do that. Um, the, the another result that we need to to talk about is. Um, a variant uh, of the equational theory, which uh, which is inspired by by the by ZX and again, where we replace we replace these two equations with these ones. And so the, the second one is uh, is uh, so appeared uh, in the in the, the smallest uh, axiomatization of the ZX calculus and. And can and we with it we can derive the, the all of the composition of Atamard if we take alpha the, the alphas to be zero and the other one with a small trick and to but to to do that in the in the in quantum circuits you need to add the the fact that uh, you can uh, sum up uh, two phase gates which is not uh, already given by by anything. So, and uh, so, and we also have uh, the minimality of the, this variant of the equational theory. So, for for the equations we, which uh, have not been changed, uh, so the the arguments are the same except for one, which uh, and for the new equations, so, so the the. 
the one with parameters uh, has the, the same argument as, as before with the, the sum of the parameters and the continu continuous uh, change. And for the sum, it's uh, actually the, the only one which um, can take us out of the Clifford fragment. So, so if uh, if all of uh, P and Rx gates are, have a multiple or uh, have multiples of uh, pi over two as uh, parameters, then this is uh, preserved by the by this equation. So we we so the only way to go out of this fragment with uh, with the uh, equations on one qubit is to split it uh, using the the sum equation. The last thing uh, I will talk about is uh, now extending the, these uh, equational series to to circuits with uh, ancillary qubits. So uh, we will so we will look at two formalisms. The first uh, ancillary where we have a preparation where we initialize lies a qubit in the zero state. And we can release or the or terminate it if, if uh, it is a if we know that it is in the zero state. So this is an example. And with this, we, we can represent uh, isometries. And in fact, uh, so we restrict our, ourselves to isometries. We we can we could just uh, add the uh, add this generator and. And this uh, makes a post selection, but we we chose to to only look at uh, circuits we which don't do post selections, uh, which are just uh, isometries. And the and the other setting which we we look is the with the partial short trace. So instead of uh, of releasing uh, qubits when they are in uh, the zero state, we we just uh, trace out uh, them uh, regardless of their their states. So we so we with that we we can find for instance kind of model uh, pro, a productive uh, measurement a productive measurement of a qubit or do a simulate uh, Somehow, uh, class classical computation, and because uh, because we trace, uh, we we use a partial trace. We we are in a CPP. We use a, a CPTB map uh, semantics. In this case, so, so we have a, a general construction uh, that we. So th this is more mostly. Given uh, explained in the in the previous paper I, I talked about with uh, Rono Vilmar. So, so first we introduce uh, the initialization in the equational theory. And we know uh, that we just have to add these equations. And and because of the fact that the control gates are shortcuts, in fact it suffices to add these equations uh, for just for the the generators uh, we, we which are which have uh, controls uh, the C note and the P gauge which is a kind of uh, a controlled uh, global phase. Hmm. So this gives us uh, this equation of theory for circuits with uh, in initializations. And now, if we want the ancillary, we we in fact we. we which is not hard to show that we just have to add this equation. Um, and, and now using the, the, the an important result is uh, now using the on, the ancillary qubits we can simplify in particular the multi qubit equation because. Um, with the, using uh, 
an, uh, an additional qubit, we, we, we have a, a simple uh, representation of uh, control gates, which we can uh, apply by uh, inductively. And with uh, the, with that, we can uh, derive uh, the multi qubit the multi qubit equation from its uh, three qubit uh, case. Um, and the, this uh, three qubit case is also equivalent to the this equation that we that we removed at the beginning, which and we which we can can find them simpler in this case uh, because it has more less shortcuts. We we have this choice. So so this gives us either this equation of theory or, the, or this one, uh, which in any case has uh, on now only equations on on at most uh, three qubits. And now the, in the twice out case, this is uh, similar. So we, we there is a an already known con construction. Uh, to add uh, to add uh, the twice out and get a, a complete equational series, which is uh, just to add uh, these uh, equations, which uh, for each generator say that uh, if we apply uh, if we apply something and then then discard everything, this is the same as uh, just discarding everything. And again, as also also we. A minor remark is that uh, in this setting the global phase is um, is uh, not is not uh, relevant. So we can uh, we can uh, remove them because uh, because of the CPP map uh, semantics. It is uh, interpret. Uh, yes. Uh, maybe I'm missing something about the semantics, but uh, do you not need like a rule uh, for multiplication by zero or something when you introduce? Uh... Ancilla. Um, no, we we do. Um, so the we these are, these are so we we don't have uh, all scalars. We we just have uh, global phases. That is scalars with a uh, with abs absolute value one. Like like what happens if you if you take like the the like zero state and then you put like a not gate and then you have the the zero effect. Like, can you not construct that first? Um, so in the in the previous uh, formalism, we in fact, we do we we forbid uh, the because because we 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 look at the fragment which where we 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 have uh, isometries. So the until has to be reset to to zero. Right? Yes. Yeah, so... Okay. Thanks. In this case, we you can uh, you don't have uh, the zero uh, the bar zero anymore. Hmm. Hmm. So. And then is into then we, we can uh, again do exac exactly the same thing and remove the so derive the multi qubit equations from uh, these ones and again we have we have an equational theory of on at most uh, three qubits um, and the uh, well. The last, uh, the last thing I will, I will, so a few remarks about uh, minimality. So we don't have minimality in these uh, in these settings. Uh, most of the arguments are broken because we can introduce uh, additional qubits. Um, we have some uh, some new arguments, but uh, not for all, all equations. Um, in fact, uh, in in addition to the multi qubit uh, equation, you we have a, at least uh, some uh, some equations that we can derive the that that we can derive. Uh, for instance, we we had we had uh, these two equations, 
And using an ancilla, we can uh, derive uh, one from the other using in essentially the, the CZ equation and then using an ancilla to, to remove uh, the, the bottom, the top part. In fact, we, we use the, the, the sum, so we, this only works in the alter, alternative uh, equation of theory. So in the other, so in the, the in the other version, there the, are the, the other things that we can do. Um, and uh, so, uh, and a particular open question is uh, whether we the, the so is uh, the the necessity of the this three uh, qubit equation. We we are we are quite quite convinced that it is uh, it is it is necessary. No. But if if it were if it were not, uh, then we, we would have a complete equation of series for on a, on a, only two two qubits uh, with equation on, on uh, at most uh, two qubits. So uh, as a conclusion, uh, summary. So we have uh, it's, uh, so simplified the. Complete equation of theory for quantum circuits, so vanilla that is uh, without ancilla. Uh, we have proved that it is minimal. To to to, uh, to our knowledge, this is the first minimality result for uh, a result for a language uh, of this uh, say similar. So there, there was a PBS calculus, but it, that this is a uh, for of for a quite a different thing, it has a different structure. It is more like for um, coherent control, and it is not uh, universal. Uh, as a note, um, so the, there was a, another minimality result for QDIT, uh, the W calculus, which is more, more uh, which is uh, closer to quantum circuit. Um, a few months after our results. So this is not the only one anymore. Hmm. Uh, another, so another significant result, I think, is that we cannot, uh, so we need a question on, a, on an arbitrary number of qubits for quantum circuits without ancillary. And uh, the fact that uh, with Ancilla, then uh, we we don't need the uh, data anymore. We just have uh, at least at most of the three qubits. Mm. A few pers a few future work or perspectives. Uh, well, the first one is to see if there, there is a practical application to to these uh, equational theories, for, for instance, for optimization. Or recurrence checking. Um, a thing that that may maybe be related uh, to this is a a result that we do that we did, didn't uh, publish, but uh, so it is not uh, very very. There is still uh, some work to do with it. it is, uh, is the fact that uh, in fact uh, if uh, if two circuits are equivalent and agree with the alternative interpretation that I gave for the the n qubit equation, then the, they can be derived uh, from each other without the, using the the multi qubit equation, and also given uh, given two equivalent equivalent circuits, uh, it is not hard to. to to make uh, the, this uh, equality true, we ju you just just have to apply the multi qubit equation a few times. And this gives this, this gives a quadratic number of transformation uh, on the circuit. Um, let's see. This may be to to be looked in, in more details. 
another open question is the the minimality so with the ancillary and in, in particular the necessity whether we need a, a, a three qubit equation hmm. and a larger line of research is uh, do the same kind of work with uh, other settings uh, like Clifford. So in fact, we 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 started some work on Clifford plus T and QDITS. This is uh, to be to be well worked on. Hmm. With so this, I think this uh, this is everything I have to say. And so thank you for for listening and. And if you you have any question, I will be happy to answer them. Right, Alexander, thanks. Um, you can put your little clapping emoji in Zoom if you want to thank the speaker. Um, do we have any questions from the audience? I have a, a comment. Yeah. Um. Can you go back uh, and you're talking about this uh, this this equation with these yeah they were, they were uh, at the very end yeah you say that this is an open question if this is needed uh, yes yeah I think if you if you reframed uh, what you what you meant by uh, minimality and you didn't assume the axioms of a of a prop I think maybe this is equivalent to asking for the naturality of the of the braid maybe if you if you define the swap to be the the three c knots that i mean maybe. it's just reframing what what do you mean by minimality uh so here i mean uh, in, in the prop framework uh, so with with the swap axioms uh assumed but uh at, uh, yes maybe, maybe if you if you take the, the the, the properties of the swap as a real equation, as a actual equations. And... I've not, uh, I've not looked look at the, at this, but maybe you, we should. Okay. Any other comments or questions? Otherwise, I have a couple. I have another question. And this time, an actual question. Um, have you have you uh, thought about uh, giving equational theory for uh, the Clif Clifford group? Not 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 uh, the Clifford plus T, but actually actually just like the Clifford group, because that would be something I would I I want to exist. Okay. Uh, I, I think there is already a complete equation of theory for the for Clifford uh, circuits. Uh, yeah, this is a paper by Bob from uh, many years ago. Bob. Uh, 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 Miriam says Selinger. Yeah, I know Selinger has it for good. for Q Q bits, but specifically, I would I would want it for the Q dits, and his oh. his proof is also I think generated on a computer, so it's very uh probably very far from minimal. If you look, if you look at the paper, but I, yeah, that would, I'm just wondering because that would be, I'd really enjoy it. Okay. Any other questions? So, um, I had two questions. Um, so first, this um, calculus you gave for where you have ancillas and you can get rid of an ancilla if the state is put back into the zero state, but you're not allowed to use this thing if it's not in the zero state. Um, that means that your category is not a prop, right? Because you don't have free, uh, you can't freely compose things together. Like, how, how do you define this? Yeah, I think it is. Uh, it is not just not uh, not fully genuine. So you, you can compose the uh, so if you if you have uh, two circuits that that represent an isometry and you compose them uh, in sequence or in parallel, I think this is uh, still an, an isometry. 
but is it but this is not uh, gen fully generated by from the uh, I think I think uh, at, at least not not in an obvious way, no, not from the Senat Adamard. Are there like small fragments where the like uh, how do you call this thing like the removal of of the uh, uh, don't have like this generator what's the uh, name uh, it? I said who it is but for, for termination termination right so is there like a, a generating set for this termination like is there like um, uh, for instance this uh, one uh, axiom that sort of tells says like okay initialization termination is equal to empty diagram. Like, can you always use this to get new things? Like, is this the only generating equation you need? The only way you can introduce them? Um, mm -hmm. Right. So in uh, in our framework, uh, you, we just uh, we we only need you needed uh, this uh, uh, from completeness. Uh, so I, I guess my question is, okay, so you can't just use this thing as a generator because you might get things that are not isometries. Is there a small set of isometries that include determination that is sufficient to generate like all valid diagrams that have this generator in them? I, I don't know. Because in general, it is like a hard problem to decide whether putting a termination will preserve it being an isometry, right? That, that you need to calculate the entire matrix. And... Right. So I think uh, once we, you have this equation, you can uh, insert an arbitrary number of things of uh, generators in between. So. Um, so uh, a second question is, um, if you don't make this restriction and you uh, and you allow this termination for general circuits, then essentially you get both selected quantum circuits, which are actually equivalent to just ZX diagrams. Um, so I wonder then, could you use this somehow to relate this complete set of rules to a complete set of rules for ZX or ZH or ZW or whatever you prefer? Maybe. Hmm. Okay, and then um, oh yeah, sorry. We would have to. We would have to do it. I think so. We would have to uh, to add a few equations like the the, the dual of the, these ones. And then I think you. We should we be able to to do a strong translation? Um, and then this this equation you have with the two C nodes becomes a swap in a C node. That's essentially a bialgebra uh, on its um, on its side. Like if you see if you view this as a set of X spiders. And there's like this that this has been an open problem for a long time, like proving the necessity of the bialgebra rule in ZX. Um, and here it turns out to work. Um, like, um, I'm just wondering, like, do you have any comments about that? Like, why it works here and it doesn't work for ZX? Like, sort of, what's the reason? Oh, here it, it works uh, without Ancilla. The, the, I don't know if this is a. So the argument is, it was the, the parity of the number of swaps. And this is uh, in particular because we cannot, uh, we don't have, uh, we cannot uh, for yeah, add an additional qubit uh, or, two, or two additional qubits and then swap them or things like that. Mm, yeah, because I thought that was the problem with the, the head spider is like symmetric, so you can introduce a swap and remove it, and that, that removes this argument there. Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, if if there's no other question in the audience, I can I can keep going. Um, so I I I I, uh, I I read your paper about this, and uh, the proof um, of the completeness, like reducing from this other complete set, and like showing that this um, 
many controlled two pi rotation is sufficient this equation to prove these complicated sort of generalized Euler decomposition rules. It is very involved. There's a lot of computation involved there. I'm just wondering if you have um, any intuition there, like something that guided you to do this, or just like you were just like working really hard to make this to do the calculation and it just turned out to work and it was just trial and error. Or if there's any deeper reason that this sort of that you were have were doing. Hmm. Uh, Maybe I have a few comments. Uh, uh, so the the first uh, the first thing was uh, was to uh, remark that the, this one uh, was a consequence of this one. This one, if you just uh, unfold uh, once uh, the control. Um, uh, for the for for deriving uh, the the big one from uh, from the this one uh, this is a uh, actually we we did that uh, we first did that with uh, optical circuits mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, perhaps it, it's more it's easy, easier to see uh, but, uh, when uh, at some point we can uh, apply a uh, can flip uh, three beam splitters pattern and put the right angle so so that it is equivalent to a swap. The, the... Oh yeah, because like if you have a many controlled circuit like this, it sort of translates into a a small diagram in uh, this optical circuit because there you're just working on a few different modes like that's what all these controls sort of add yes. right? it's, yeah. and the, the, and the, the thing uh, with the optical circuit i was talking about is uh, in the is uh, i think it is uh, shown explicitly in a paper uh, is a, in a recent paper by nicola ortel and, 